Ever find yourself staring into space, your mind a complete and utter void? You're not trying to think of anything, you're just blank. It's a feeling we've all had, but what's actually happening in our brains during these moments? Is it just a glitch in our stream of consciousness, or something more? For years, scientists have been fascinated by mind wandering, where our thoughts drift from one thing to another. But mind blanking, that feeling of having zero thoughts, has been a bit of a mystery. Now, a team of neuroscientists and philosophers are digging deep into this phenomena, and what they're finding is fascinating. First off, you're not alone. The average person experiences mind blanking about 5 to 20% of the time. It's not just about being sleepy or distracted, it's a distinct mental state. Researchers discovered that when people report their mind is blank, their brains show specific patterns. Imagine parts of your brain briefly going into a sleep-like state, even while you're wide awake. This is called a local sleep episode. It often happens when you're tired, like after a long exam or a tough workout, and is marked by slow, sleep-like brainwaves and even changes in your heart rate and pupil size. Interestingly, mind blanking isn't always about your brain slowing down. Sometimes, it happens when your brain is in overdrive thinking so fast that it leads to a cognitive jam. And it's not just a quirky everyday experience. More frequent mind blanking is reported by people with ADHD and is even part of the clinical description for generalized anxiety disorder. Researchers have found that when they monitor brain activity using fMRI and EEG, there are clear neural signatures that pop up right before a mind blank. When people's minds go blank, there are disruptions in sensory processing. It s like the brain temporarily unplugs from the outside world and even from its own internal monologue. When asked to actively empty their minds, participants showed less activity in brain regions linked to language and memory, like Broca's area and the hippocampus. So, what's the common thread? It all seems to come down to our level of arousal or physiological vigilance. Whether our brain is in a state of very high or very low arousal, it creates the perfect conditions for a mind blank to occur. This new understanding challenges the old idea that our minds are always filled with the constant stream of thoughts. It shows that our conscious experience is much more varied and complex than we imagined. Studying mind blanking helps us understand the incredible diversity of our inner worlds. It's a reminder that even in moments of nothingness, our brains are doing something remarkable. So next time you find your mind going blank, just remember, it's not a bug, it's a feature of our amazing brains. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, do you and T forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of the mind. See you next time.